or all in that first good do it. And they will come up with their children, please. And a great cheer, round of applause to the first members of Habonim. And they'll tell us some of their memories. Who? Hi, everybody. Good evening to you all. I'm so happy to see so many South Africans Habonim that are still here. here to this evening. I want to take you back to the early 1930s. I was 10 years old when I joined Habonim and I still remember when the late Norman Lurie came back to South Africa from and started the movement. As it's been said and told you that the movement was based on the Boy Scouts. And in those days, we, as you know, we had to go through tests. And uh, as a young 10-year-old, I had to build this brick from a piece of cardboard, how difficult it was. And then there was no such things as going out to camps to Hermanus. So we were taken to a, on a teal to a river, and there we had to learn how to make an open a fire outdoors and to cook something. That was another test. And I'm happy to say all my three children became members of Habonim, and I'm glad to see that you're all carrying the flag and carry on the good work. And muscle tough to you all on your birthday. Hello, everybody. Pleased to tell you that I joined Abenim in 1930. It seems like yesterday. Pleased to, to see all of you people over here who represent Abenim today. It's a long gap between us. But we're very, very close. Hello and thank you. Okay, could I have your attention please? 